بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد One thing that every Muslim is in need of paying very close and strict attention to is the heart, the qalb. And this is because the nature of the heart is to constantly turn, to constantly turn from hal to hal or from one condition or one state to another state. For example, sometimes we experience sadness. Sometimes we experience uh, joy and happiness. Sometimes we have feelings of anger or jealousy. Sometimes we have uh, feelings of humbleness. All of this, all of these are actions of the, the heart, of the qalb. So this is why it's imperative for us as Muslims to pay uh, specific attention, and particular and careful attention, and be meticulous about looking at our hearts. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna allaha la yandiru ila adsadikum wa la ila surakum wa lakin yandiru ila qulubukum wa a'malakum. Ruahu Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily Allah does not look to your shape or uh, your 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 beauty or, or what have you but rather he looks to your deeds and your heart the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in another narration ala wa hi al qalb or the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said inna fi jazid inna fi jazid mudghatan fi idha salaha salaha jazid kullu wa idha fasada fasada jazid kullu ala wa hi al the Prophet ﷺ said that in the body is a morsel of flesh that if it is a health, if it is sick, the whole body becomes sick. And if it is healthy, then the whole body becomes healthy. And this is verily, it is the heart. Both of those narrations of the, uh, on the Prophet ﷺ illustrate for us the importance of the heart and the importance of us paying attention to our hearts for the reasons that we already listed and that sicknesses and diseases of the heart are constantly things we're challenged with and you can find that in yourself because no one else knows the condition of your heart no one else knows that maybe you pray in the front row in, in the first row in the masjid but your heart could be sick Maybe you have shirk in your heart. Maybe you're praying to please and impress the people. So that the people will praise you and say that, Oh, so-and-so, mashallah, is a mu'min. Or so-and-so is so strong in iman. Or whatever the case may be. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows your heart. And you are also <coughs> uh, aware of the condition of your heart. Of the state of your heart of the status of your heart. This is why we have to pay attention and the ulama have written treatises uh, and, and books and spoken extensively, especially ulama, some of the students of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and of course the Salaf before them wrote uh, also mentioned many narrations regarding the heart. So we have to pay attention to the heart because either the heart can help you and assist you and, and, and guide you in what you're doing and be a part and, and that you have Iman that is strong or you can have weak Iman that's contained in your heart and exhibited on your limbs and expressed through your expressions on the tongue. So all of this is a part of our Iman. So Muslims are always in need of paying attention to the status of our Iman. Are we uh, interacting with our brothers and sisters in the faith? with, with uh, kindness and righteousness based upon Iman? Or are we speaking ill about the people and cursing the people and disrespecting the people based upon a sick heart? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept this good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.